Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're just going to be doing a quick update on the situation of the BNB farms or Binance Smart Chain. Looking at some opportunities on there. Uh, we're also going to be looking at the latest news on the library um, case with the SEC. And we'll also just be checking out a few altcoins. So if you're into this kind of thing and cryptocurrencies, make sure you hit a like and subscribe to the channel. So let's get into it. Okay, first of all, I just wanted to take a quick look at the Bitcoin price. We've now broken this downward resistance um, trend line. And I said if we went over about 56, 57K, I'd be feeling more bullish about this and I am. So I'm, I've actually been dollar cost average buying throughout this downtrend um, and I'm basically going to continue anyway. Um, taking a look at BNB, um, I've been talking about this a little bit recently. We've, we've got this pennant forming and we've just broken out of the top of a pennant. So it looks like we could be headed for about a $500 B and B. Um, we'll see how this goes. If you're going to get into it, make sure you dollar cost average and do your own research. Okay, so let's move on to the main topic. So I just wanted to give you guys an update of which farms I'm in now. Um, I've mostly reduced the farms I'm into. I'm not really getting into any new ones um, unless they've got a stable coin pool or a pool that I'm already in, so like for instance, Cake B and B. So actually, I think Pancake Bunny, um, one which has been operating a long time, is offering some of the best APRs. Before I was doing the Cake B and B pool on here, but actually I'm going for this Cake single staking pool here, as it offers almost one percent a day and there's no risk of impermanent loss. The other thing I'm into that I thought I would give a try is bdollar.finance. So bdollar is an algorithmic stablecoin running on Binance Smart Chain and, and it's split into three tokens, uh, bdollar, bdollar share and bdollar bond. And these help to balance out the price of bdollar, which I'll explain. Okay, so when BDO trades below the $1 target price, token holders can purchase B dollar bonds with an extra discount and bonds will be burnt to reduce the circulating supply when users redeem B dollar with a one-to-one -one ratio. So in the case of redemption, an amount of BDO will be minted equal to B dollar bonds that have been redeemed. Important to note is that bonds have no expiry after purchase. So that's when B dollar is below the one dollar price. Um, when B dollar trades above the one dollar target price, the token supply will have to expand so it become inflationary, and it will push the token back down to one dollars. And the contract will allow the redemption of B dollar bonds. When the price of B dollar continues trading above the one dollar target price after bond redemption, the contract mints an appropriate amount of new BDO, and this will be distributed to boardroom stakers. So it's a little bit confusing to get your head around, but um, I think it's an interesting system. But it is quite experimental. The APRs we got four hundred and thirty-seven percent. So it's fantastic for a stable coin, but obviously because it's quite experimental, there's quite a lot of risk around this. Um, so this is a bit of a risky one, I think. Recently, we crashed all the way down to 50 cents. Um, I think there was some issues. The devs introduced a new farm and whales were exploiting that and pulling out of the liquidity of BDO. And then there was a big panic sale. So actually, a couple of days ago, there was a really good opportunity to buy into this that unfortunately I missed and I didn't make a video on it. But yeah, 
this is quite a risky one. Um, take a look at it, do your own research and see what you think. Okay, so my kind of strategy that I just employed um, yesterday is I'm trying to buy the, the kind of OG farms, which of course are audited, um, the legit ones. What I've actually done is bought the token. Um, so I'm on Salt Swap and Cafe Swap. Both been quite good farms to me. I've got quite good returns on here already. Um, and what I've done is on the oceans on salt swap, I am staking my salt to get brew with this fantastic APR 804%. And then on cafe swap, I've bought some brew and I'm staking that to get salt. I'm getting almost 200% APR. And then I'm just going to use both of these pools to compound each other. I thought about, I mean, I looked at this APR for brew, staking the brew for more brew, but I think it, it it's working out better to stake for the salt, which I can then stake for a higher APR. So I think that makes more sense. So the reason I'm doing that, I mean, looking at this chart, um, and it's also in the context of where pancake is so I was big on this kind of downward trend line um, trend resistance line and we broke out of here and I should have really packed my bags I saw this coming and for me I can see like there's a second wave coming into the BSC farms and I think cake is going to be the first mover and then I think we are going to see some of these legit OG farms follow um seems like salt swap has stabilized at 0 0.63 um, we'll show you the chart seems like we've like created a floor here so there's a lot of upside potential the aprs on the farms still pretty good we got 500 600 percent and there's no stable coin pools on here so the selling pressure is lower. Um, I think it's the same for salt. I've got some stable coin pools, but the APR is very low, so I don't think it will attract many people. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the chart for Cafe Swap, kind of similar. Um, look like we found this floor, and then we've got a little bit of an uptrend going on here. Same with salt, very slight uptrend. So I've only just punted a small amount on this because um, of course it could just stay flat or dwindle down to nothing. So, but I think there's a lot of upside and I think the upside uh, really outweighs the risk. Okay, the other thing I am into is uh, I put, I had a big LP with, um, Binance token and cake and I withdrew that and then I just put it in a single asset like I showed you on Bunny and then I put um, a big amount of wrap BNB onto beefy finance they got a single staking pool as well so no risk of impermanent loss and I'm just getting a modest 0.3 percent daily 60% APR um, and I'm happy I'm happy with that I'm just gonna compound this and until another opportunity or I change my strategy, I think I'm quite happy with this. Um, the other pool I'm into, been in this for a long time, and it's been very steady at 300% APR, is Berry B&B. And this one has probably been my best farm over the whole Binance Smart Chain um, period, actually. So yeah, just cracking on with this. Berry got um, listed on a Chinese exchange, MSC today. Um, I think that's the first exchange they are listed on. So hopefully we'll get on Binance and then we could really rock it with that. 
Okay, taking a look at my watch list. Let's see what the biggest winners today. Easy Fi up almost 20%. Knowles up 10%. Radical up 12%. I'm really desperate to get some of this. Um, they've got it listed on an exchange for US dollar tether, but one I'm not signed up to. I'm thinking about signing up for that just to buy some. Quick swap looks like it's formed that floor and it's coming up. Berry again starting to perform now. One of the big winners this week is Salt, um, up 93%. Um, I think I have doubled or at least got 50% of my investment on that. Um, I have to check that out. I did a video talking about this, I think, a couple of weeks ago. Ape Tool is still struggling, and then um, not much change on Neblio, Quantum. I'll come back to Library, XRP Modest, EOS, and the rest. Not really any significant change. Everest, one I still haven't got my hands on because it's on Ethereum. I'm down almost 10% today, so I'm thinking how to get around this. I'm waiting for the gas fees to go down and then I'm going to try and get my hands on some of this. So taking a look at library, we had this news come out today about the SEC trying to sue library for over 11 million in token sales. So the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has charged crypto fund library of selling unregistered securities. Library, a decentralized publishing platform that claims 10 million users facilitated facilitated its operations via library credits, which are blockchain-based tokens. People, pay, people can pay creators and library credits to view uploaded content. According to the SEC, however, but before deploy, before developing the network, it sold tokens as investment contracts with the assumption that their value would go up. All told, alleges the SEC in, com in a complaint filed today in a U.S. District Court library received more than 11 million in U.S. dollars, Bitcoin, and services from purchasers who participated in its offering. So they're trying to identify it as a security. Um, I know there is a little bit of, I'm not sure, a little bit of sort of confusion whether cryptocurrencies count as securities. Just looking at Google looks saying securities are fungible and tradable financial instruments. Um, and that's where the problem is because cryptocurrencies are not fungible. So that's my understanding of it. It's probably not completely correct. Um, so for me, this is like um, a bit of FUD and maybe a good opportunity to become a buyer looking at the chart we got this really big dip um, down to 15 cents so wow if you had an order down there that's we're still in this uptrend but I'm expecting there could be some turbulence maybe we will come down to these lower levels uh, like 8 cents um, which I think it will be an absolute steal so we'll continue to monitor this um hopefully we can we can stay in this uptrend it looks like already it's served quite well and it got bought straight back up as soon as it dropped okay that's all for today make sure you hit like if you liked the video and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing and we'll be back tomorrow leave a comment if there's something you'd like to take a look at